Hey guys, Radio Garage back on the bench. Appreciate everybody joining me. So on the bench today we have a uh, new out of the box uh, Galaxy DX86V for Kevin. Here is the box with all your goodies in there. And your radio is all done. Um, first thing I'll call to your attention is the Bird 43 is back. Okay, got the fresh calibration sticker. And uh, for Mr. Bill out there, was asking me if I was going to show the um, certificate of calibration when I got it back. No, Bill. Uh, you know, I'm not going to do that. I would not do that, okay? I don't think there's a need to do that. So, let's get on with it. We are going to show what it's doing for power. Um, these things really come out nice as far as power goes for a dual final. So, we got, let's see, 50 watt slug. I can get it in there. Okay, I'm going to turn the peak on. Mic gain's all the way up, and we're going to start, well no, actually let me put the mic gain down, I'll show you what it does for uh, the variable. So all the way down, we have just about 2 watts, a little under, and then all the way up, we're about 8.5, almost 9 watts. We'll turn our mic gain up. Audio one two three four five 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 just over forty watts. Let me turn this monitor radio onto AM there, okay. Audio one two three four five 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 audio. So just over forty watts, like I said. And um let's take it over to the scope. So I'm kind of doing the audio uh, signal a little bit different. Instead of using my audio box with the uh, the mic cable, as you guys know, I've been using for a long time this here. Um, I actually am doing it a little bit different. So I'm running a 50 ohm piece of cable um, directly into a um, mic plug and we're bypassing the whole box so um, yeah just like it a little bit better doing it this way alright so there's our two divisions whoops I'm sorry so we're keyed up there's our two divisions let me actually move that up a little bit we're the hair off and let me tighten that up roll the variable down a little bit there we go and then we'll send modulation into it. So now we're just a hair over our uh, four to one. So we went from two divisions to four. And we're just breaking that fourth um, radical there. So she's just a hair over. Really nice. Show it to you on the. Yeah, these go a little bit over 100%. So. If the radio supports it, you know, we'll do it, not a problem. I'll show it to you on sideband here quick. So basically what I'm just doing is getting a multi-tone, dual tone set up right here. Um, going to be using 1900 and 700 hertz. We'll take it over to, am I in, the, yeah, I'm in the screen. Lower sideband. Okay. There's our dual tone. So that's done. Came out nice. Then we'll show you what it's doing on receive. I'm going to get this out of here. I'm going to put my signal generator into it. Put 
that to on. Let's try to keep everything in the screen. So that's to on. We got to dial this way the heck down. I right, go to 73. We'll show you 50 microvolts for S9. Should be right there. And then uh, I got to turn my viewfinder around. Okay, right on the money. And same thing for sideband. I'm not going to show you that right now, but you have to take my word for it. I don't know if he likes taking anybody's word for anything. Make sure I'm back in the screen here. Oh boy. I well, hope everybody's been doing well out there. I know I've been staying pretty busy. Oop, I gotta turn my volume up. Alright, let me make sure I got squelch open, RF gain up, noise blanker off. Oh, I gotta go to AM. Okay. There we go, that looks better. Oh yeah. She's got good ears on her. One, one eleven and a half, let's call it. It's dancing a little bit there. The bottom left corner, she's going from 11 to 12. Really nice. Let's show you what's here and on sideband. So we'll take this, we'll drop that, take this over to lower, and look at it jump up. Yeah, she's got big ears. So on lower, you are hearing. Oh my lord. You are hearing. Now you're going to hear it farther down than this, but this is just where it's coming in at 12 dB, so don't think you're not going to hear below it. So there's your 12 dB, negative uh, 122. Okay. Bottom left. Right there. Gotta love it. Gotta love it when they come out like this. So, these are like pretty much, if you guys want just a simple sideband radio, I mean, you really can't beat these things. Um, I think that's it for the receive. Take that back out of there. We're cruising right through. So, oh yeah, what else could I show you? A little over the air audio. Quick. Take that out. Volume down. Yeah, come on. Yeah, this jack doesn't like my quick connect, so I gotta screw it in here. <clears throat> come on. Don't fight with me now because I'm on video. Alright, let's see what she sounds like. See what we got going on here. We'll bring our monitor radio down to, uh, well, let's take this down to 20. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Audio drive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now that's with the power, um, yeah, here's power all the way up. Audio one two three four five one two three four five, and then this is with the power down a little bit. It'll get a little bit louder when you drop the carrier. So here's what the carrier dropped. One two three four five one two three four five. I don't know if you could tell at all. So that's where we're at. Um, I know you, this is a new radio for you. So let me just go over the front here a little bit. Um. Here's your three bands. So your band D here is CB. And then you got a band, one band below. And you got one band above. That's all you really need. Um, especially when the skip comes rolling in. I know because you're looking to get into side bands. So like for instance, 27, um, 
555 is is sometimes uh, popular but yeah a lot of times when 38 gets crammed up all you do is come up like to these first one two three four five so basically like these first um, 12 channels may have some activity just scroll around um, oh I know what I forgot to show you the spectrum analyzer yeah this thing comes out really clean on the spectrum analyzer too because it's not super broadband it like the um, like the other galaxies being that it only has the two extra bands that works in its favor very much so this is like CB uh, normal uh, CB 40 channel clean yep that's what I forgot I know I was forgetting something getting ahead of myself 27205 let me get us back on 27205 here alright there we go so we are at uh, 15 megahertz gonna key it up we're going directly into the built-in dummy load into the uh, test set oh, let me get my monitor radio off of here all right so yeah look at that I mean not generally what you see for a galaxy you usually have a little bit of let me make sure my mic gains up I'm gonna just modulate into it here one two three four five one two three four five just ever so slightly something's trying to start right there take it to 30 audio one two three four five um, let me show you actually a hundred kilohertz can't beat that with a stick now we'll take it out show you that second 60 megs hello one two three four five one two three four five um, fundamentals at 40 and second harmonic is uh, negative about six down so yeah you got about 46 uh, about 46 dBm difference so we are <coughs> meeting all all our uh, spurious emission uh, specifications if we were trying to do so which this is not um, you know an FCC radio anyways but we like to try to we like to try to go for that spectral purity one two three four five one two three four five a lot better than uh, than any export I'm used to seeing Look, see how much farther could we go out? Can we go to, um, can we go to 200? I don't even know what the max span on this is. One, two, three, four, five. 250. One, two, three, four, five. So you're not going to have any issues with this. Very nice radio. Um, the only other thing left to do is to possibly get a radio check. I think you guys have been liking me trying to get these over the air um, radio checks. So that's where this video gets really too long. Alright, so that's it. Uh, wasn't able to get a radio check, unfortunately. So I'm going to wrap this one up. But uh, yeah, I also, Kevin, uh, wanted to show you I upgraded your power wire Okay, to a big, heavy... Uh, Teflon with a nice choke and then we got um, an upgraded main uh, DC input cap there we got an upgraded 8 volt regulator cap there so I know you'd like um, getting those upgrades done when um, the radio can benefit from it and this one can so we went ahead and did that um, you guys that like the big heavy swinger mods and stuff I bet you these things will swing easy 50 plus watts but um, clean like I showed about 40 watts um, and that's that's a beautiful waveform and, and beautiful on the spectrum analyzer 
And then one last thing, um, I also I got in the um, 8203 boards. So if anybody wants one, um, let me know. They're going to be $60 shipped um, out the door. So that's uh, no questions asked. $60 to your door if you're interested. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, like I said, I'm waiting on the KL203s and the, and the 203Ps. Um, I think they may have some of the bigger amps available but um, I'm not sure if somebody's interested to let me know I'll get you a price alright guys if you made it this far I do appreciate it um, if you like what you've been seeing here on the channel and um, hit subscribe I have a really uh, great bunch of guys that always uh, leave comments and uh, show their support so I really appreciate everybody out there and also the fellow uh, techs or people that work on radios when you leave comments um, that's also nice I like you know being able to chit chat with you guys a little bit with the comments I, I do try to get back to you within 24 hours so that's always nice when you guys say hello um, and oh also emails if you guys are emailing me give me like 24 to 48 hours to get back to you because usually what I'll do is I'll let a a few build up then I'll just get back to a bunch of people at once so I'm not always uh, stopping and then getting back to one email at a time so uh, that's the other thing but yeah you guys have been doing a great job um, with the going through the website or um, just hitting me up direct so uh, yeah awesome you guys you know I've been crushing it you guys got me stacked up I don't even know what's next uh, to give you you know to tell you what I'm <laughs> what radio is coming up next I, I gotta go pick one from the pile so alright guys till next time the radio garage we're off the key